money editing. We're currently running a 100 days of YouTube editing challenge. If you're looking to master video editing, boost your skills, or even make money through editing, this is the place to be. For the next 100 days, I'll be uploading daily editing tips, tutorials, and challenges designed to turn beginners into pros. Each day, we'll cover something new, from basic editing skills and viral techniques to more advanced tricks on platforms like CapCut and Alight Motion. First, you come here to Alight Motion. You're going to be adding the text right here, 2001. And then you add a color, you change the color, add a text, make it bold, and then you make a 24 point font size. After that, you come here and place it, and you go to blending and opacity. Here you add keyframes at this end here and at the beginning here you are going to reduce it to zero. So it's going to come in like this. After that, you are going to come here to add effects. You are going to add in the glow effect. You type here glow and you are going to see this option right here where you are going to click on it. And you can see the options, you can make changes to the color white and then you can then increase, reduce the hardness. Alright, and just make sure it's looking cool for you. Alright, so once you're done with this, you can come here to import the image. So this is the image we're going to be using right here. So you bring it right here and then you place it at this point. Then you come here and you click on effects. So you're going to be adding an effect. So the first effect we're going to be adding here is the glow effect so we're going to be using soft glow the soft glow effect so here you come here and just increase the light fusion you know change the outer glow to about 68 you know increase the blend to about 23 and then change the color to white so basically it's going to look like this once you're done now once you've been able to do that then you can see how it comes in so we're going to come here to just place it right here let me make changes to the placement after you've been able to make changes to the placement, you come here to blend and opacity, right? And you come here, add keyframes at both ends. At the beginning, you then reduce it to zero. So it's going to come in like a fading, just like this. So after that, you're going to come here to move and transform. Right here in move and transform, you are also going to change the position by adding keyframes to the both ends right here. And at this point, you're going to add another keyframe again and then at the beginning you take the position down so it comes from down to up so you can see that just like this so once you've been able to do this so you are going to come over to add the line and how we do that you come to this point right where you want it to start from and you click on vector drawing you come here and add a node once you add a node you then drag it to this point and click it then you come to border and shadow, you click on stroke, turn it on, then you click on the white color stroke, make sure you change the color to white, you come here, change the color, then you increase the stroke and use the first stroke type, you right, so you here, you can see how it looks, once you've been able to do that, you come here to effects, so we're going to add an effect to, to the line, that the line shape, so the first effect we're going to be adding right here is the strip, so you're going to type strips so once you click on strips you can see this is it's right here you change these settings the way i'm doing it right now right so you change the color to white then you come here to turn on the punch out and then you change the angle all right once you're done changing it you can change to it's 89.5 or 90. you change the width size depending on what you're looking for right so once you're able to make all these changes, then you're good to go. You come here to add another effect. Here we're going to be adding the glow effect. So here we're going to change it to white. The color you change it to white, and you can reduce the hardness a little bit, and of course you can reduce the alpha level a little, just like this. So once you're done, you come here again to effect, and this time around we'll be adding the draw um, animation. We call it the draw on progress here you select the draw gradually option draw gradually option now you can see what it's going to should do you don't have to change anything once you've selected it so you can see how it's going to look like you see that so that is cool
So now the next thing we need to do, we need to now duplicate the other part. All right, so you come here to media, right? In media, you add the next shape which you want to draw to, right? You come here, make sure that everything is well aligned and it's of the same size like the first one. So once you've been able to place it very well, you come here to the effects and um, picture right here and you come here to copy the layer style, copy layer style and then you come over to this one and you click on paste style. So you're going to turn up some of all these things because we just want to place a few of the, of the styles here. So once you've done that, you can see, then you come here and drag it and place it right here. Okay, once you place it right here, make sure that you drag it down a little bit so that it actually stays on the same line with the first one now you can see how it looks right okay it comes from down to up but then if you don't want it to come from down to up you can just allow it to just fade in okay so you come here to the um blending up an opacity and you add keyframes so that it looks like it's coming in like a fading like this so you reduce this to zero just like that so it comes in like this so the last thing you're going to do for this is come in here to add the text so simply you just duplicate this one and all you just need to do you move it to the place you want it to start and we want it to start somewhere right here so gently make sure that it starts there and once you've placed it you come here and move the text you move it to this point here and then you change the text so you change this whatever you want So for the next editing, you come here and select the plus icon. Here you select the circle shape. Here you're going to increase it. You come to color and fill and you remove the color. Once you remove the color, you come here to border and shadow, turn on the stroke, change it to white and increase the stroke size. Then you come here to effects. You're going to add an effect which is the glow effect. You first add the glow effect. Here you make a few changes. You change this to white color, reduce the hardness and then you can reduce the alpha a little bit just like this once you've been able to do that then you come here and go to effect again you add the draw progress effect and here you'll be selecting the draw gradually option once you select that you can see how it's going to come in like this right so once you've been able to do this you come here same point you're going to come here to add the picture so here's the picture we're going to use so when we place picture you're going to come here to a circle add a circle shape to it over the face then you're going to come here and select the two images and you mask it right okay once you max the image you're going to come here and place it right at the center of this circle that you created before if you're finding it hard to really understand some of all these things i'm showing you you can watch my tutorial on everything about allied motion all right so let's continue so you come here and you're going to add the glow soft glow effect right you just make a little few changes here and once you've been able to make the changes right here you can see how it's gonna look right so now you come here to the image again and you add keyframes at the both ends like this and at the first end you're going to reduce it to zero so it's gonna look like a fading animation just like this so once you do that you can see how it's going to come in so you see how easy it is so now let's do for the second image so this is going to be easier than the first part because all you just need to do is just come here and duplicate this all right so you come here at this point you're going to duplicate the circles so you come here to click on duplicate layer all right and then you come here and place it Make sure that you center it like this using this um the movements on positioning and movements too you also duplicate the other layer and place it right here we're trying to create three circles here so they are looking cool right so the next thing you need to do is you're going to go ahead to you know adjust them because they're not going to be coming in at the same time so once you've been able to adjust them like this then you can go ahead to add the other shape or the other image right here okay so 
you come here to select the circle at this point you select the circle just like you did the other one you place it over the face and then you select the boots circle and then you select the picture from these ends like this and then you click on the mask option right here up here once you place that then you come here and place it right at the center of this by using the move and transform option you make sure everything is well placed right here all right so once you've placed it very well so the next thing you need to do you come to the effects image right here and you have to copy the styles you don't have to create another style by using the effects so we'll just copy the effects from the first image so let me show you how we do that you come here select the first image that's the one you grouped and masked you come here to click on copy layer including style right and then you come here to the new one you just created paste the style here and turn off some of these ones that you don't really need all right you don't need this then you just click on paste so you can see how it is so this is how you also do for the third image